back to UE5, BP Guru. Uh, today, I'm doing something I wasn't actually planning on doing. I was bored and looking through stuff. And as a result, uh, I ended up doing this. And um, yeah, I kind of <laughs> I kind of did something. So you know those games that are sort of all around at the moment. Um, at least over the last year, I've seen quite a lot of this mechanic um, in the Resident Evil Village Rose DLC. You had Stay Close. You had that SCP game that's been going around on TikTok recently. They've all been adding this mechanic in, which is, I'll show you it. Uh, so we start the game. Let's go into the nav mesh. And if I look, oh, it's moved. Oh, it's following me. If I look away, oh, he's, he's taking another step. Oh, let's get a bit closer. Oh. She's, she's working a way to get to me. So, yeah. We've got this kind of fun... Oh! <laughs> the mechanic where it's um, moving with my camera. So, it can only move when I'm not looking. So, if I run now and I go around here... Oh, hello! <laughs> it's, it's a fun little mechanic. Uh, and it makes me feel creeped out even now. Uh, oh god, oh god, activate the door. <laughs> it's, it's a fu Don't look away from her. Shut the door, shut the door. Uh, you can create these cool kind of tense scenarios in your game. Um, which is really, really fun. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it without further ado. So, the first thing we need to do now, I've done all of this, so I'm just going to show you what I did because it's such a long... Um, thing to to do but uh get a nav mesh bounds to begin with and drag that out i'm not going to use that one because i've already got one uh if i go get rid of the game mode and i click on it you can see mine is pretty big if you press p with it selected you can see where your uh ai can kind of move to it can go pretty much near enough anywhere uh but it does have a small edge around certain objects uh, which is understandable so uh if i press p again to get rid of that that's all you kind of need to do with the nav mesh now for the um ai i've kept it very simple um i've just made a bp class and i made it a character class so that it can move around named it enemy bp just because this is for testing it's not anything uh specific uh open up and um, I'll drag it over in a second once it's it's opened. Uh, open it up. And this is what we have inside. It's nothing too crazy. Now, I didn't use this in the end, but it was a fun kind of test. So we can get rid of that. Now, I've, I've done the event begin play. And I've done an AI move to, which is a custom event, which is up here. And all we're doing is we're casting to our third person character, getting that reference to the character. Uh, we're doing an AI move to, the target being our third person character, and the pawn being itself. I run a delay of 0 0.2 seconds, and then I do the AI move to again, and it's just a continual loop. Um, the reason for the delay is because uh, if I don't have the delay, uh, UE5 picks up on an info loop, and it won't let you run the code. So make sure you have that delay. Now, everything else is just typical character setup, but mine, uh, just for argument's sake, is set up to uh, 230 as a max walk speed. I mean, I could set it to 300, make it a little bit faster. If you want it to run, you'll need it to be set to about 500, which matches the many running uh, information. Other than that, that's pretty much what I did for that, and I just dragged it in. Dragged it into the scene. Um, for the, uh, actual site and stuff, what I did, uh, I don't need that one either. You can see I clearly cleared it up for us for the tutorial, <laughs> but it's very simple here. It's all, this is all it is. I've clicked on add on the top left. And, uh, if you just type in porn, you get porn sensing. Um, this is normally used for AI. So you need to make one adjustment in this that will allow it to see all pawns, not just players. Uh, and that is only sense players. This this little tick box on the right-hand side here. All of the settings I've kept the same. 
I've just uh, unticked that so it's set to false uh, so that it picks up on all pawns, not just uh, any player pawns. So that's kind of important. Otherwise, it'll just ignore everything else. So make sure you do that. Uh, and then when you click on pawn sensing, if you scroll down on the right hand side, you've got on C pawn right here. Click on that and you'll get this lovely little event here that's tied to the pawn sensing. Uh, and literally all we need to do is do a sequence of events. Now, this runs every tick. So every second, this is running. So what we need to do is we need to run it, do a sequence. Uh, and then I'm using this very fun new variable I've learned about called custom time dilation. Pull up from the pawn and get that. So for every pawn it picks up on, we get a custom time dilation. And set that to zero. I've done the print string just for testing. So it says yes when it sees it and no when uh, it's run this second bit of code. Uh, so it should always run yes and then no, yes and then no. So off the sequence on the on the one, then one, we do a delay for one second. Uh, and then we set that custom dilation back to one. And I'll just do a print string for no. And what the custom dilation variable does is... Um, it basically slows down all the animation movements. So, for example, if I was to put that to two, things would move a lot faster. So, uh, let's test it out. I haven't actually tested this out, but let's, let's give it a go and see what happens. So, when we set it to two, it should run a lot faster. So, I am not being seen. Oh, so he's paused. If I look away, you can... Look how fast he's moving. Oh my god, it's scary. Why am I, why is it so much smaller than me? Look, I'm so much higher. Um, now, you can see where it's kind of like... There's a little bit of an issue where it's not quite pausing. That's because of the camera movement. I need to either increase the um, radius or, or something like that. Um, but if I look away, you can see how fast it's moving now. So that's kind of what it does. So when you set it to zero... It sets all movement and uh, animation, and it freezes it almost. It slows it down so much that it's just not moving. Um, if I set it to 0 0.1, it would move at a very gradual pace. So that's kind of what uh, the custom time dilation does. Um, and I, I just think it's so useful and so effective. I, I need to obviously play around a little bit with this to make sure it works uh, 100%, but it, it's not far off working completely and it's just such a fun little gimmick to add into your game and you can kind of see why resident evil did that and, and a few other developers have been putting it into their games as i said that that new scp game that's been kind of going around on tiktok uh, are doing it a lot and it's just so effective for making such a creepy scene if you imagine you're in some tight corners it would and you had to like for example like like this if i have to open this door this thing's still moving at me even though, you know, and if, if you did this in a multiplayer setting, it would be so fun um, to have, you know, you have to work around these things with, with a teammate, you know, you could create some great puzzles and, and all that sort of stuff. And if I really look away, I mean, I can't see it now. It should be by the door. Now, what I would do in this scenario is obviously when you can't, when it can't see you anymore, uh, roam randomly. Um but or, or you know whatever but it's working really well and i think it's such a cool little addition hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial as well it's just a quick one just a fun one just playing around with some pawn sensing um but i've never played around with it in this sense where i've done it from the player's perspective instead of the uh, ai's perspective but um yeah very cool very fun um if you've enjoyed this episode hit that subscribe button it's free to do and you know you can't change your mind down the line hopefully you don't and uh, if you've been here before, thank you so much for your support, as always. Um, and much love, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.